Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trustalian. This is a TS Tech Talks video guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to your Facebook page making use of this application called Tonip or Tonip. So um, Tonip is a live streaming application that allows you to live stream to Facebook page and other platform too. So, um, but on today's video, we are focusing on how to live stream to your Facebook page. Um, first, let me open my Facebook page and show you guys just to confirm that this um, that I'm currently not live streaming on my Facebook page. So I'm going to go over to the pages and I'm going to try to click on the page that I want to live stream on, which is GamePad. Now, this is GamePad. Currently, I'm not live streaming any video right now. The last live stream I did was on Wednesday and you can see that was two hours. Um, um 52 minutes so approximately um one hour 52 minute actually so click on to not um to nipe to have the application open um if you open it and it opens on this area all you need to do is to click on stream now that is on the bottom section so tap on stream now and it's going to open this section for you so the next thing you have to do is to click on setup stream click on that and then you are going to follow some instruction to set up your stream so on default is going to display popular games on the top area so you can select the popular games that you want to live stream to start live streaming but if it's not displaying right there you notice where it says um more games right on this section and uh, click on that and when you click on more games it's going to display all of the game that you have installed on your device so far the first one is the subway sub which is what i'm going to select so if you notice right here it's displaying all of the game i have installed on my device and all of the game i have previously played on this device um if you haven't seen that go ahead and scroll down and if you want you can click on more to display even more game and it's going to keep displaying even more game especially the game that you've played and also the application that you have existing on this device so i'm going to go right back up on the top area and i'm going to choose this first one that says subway sub so subway sub has been selected and i'm going to click on nest to select nest and choose more info automatically it's going to generate a um a title for me and you notice on the top area it says english subway sub so i'm going to delete um the english and then i'm going to leave the subway sub and good streaming playing solo this is actually not um relevant so i'm going to delete that so the good streaming not so bad um with turn hype not necessary so i'm going to just leave streaming and then right here um it says hey folk watch me stream so um watch me play subway soft thank you for watching my subway soft streaming and all of go ahead and read this if there is anything you do not find interesting go ahead and delete that and i think they are probably promoting their application right there you can leave that if you want to but i'm going to go ahead and highlight and delete that particular option because um it's really not um that's advisable to be advised advertising them if you do not want to but if you want to feel free to advert advertise them because the application is also free so um the streaming um vi tonic so i'm going to go ahead and delete that so i'm going to say streaming on my facebook page like and follow this is actually what is more important you have to include the like and follow but anything that includes um the turn i i will advise you to go ahead and delete that because um you probably advise advertising their company but if you want to do that go ahead and free free to do that but if not i will advise you to always um to always delete those information um displaying right there so when you're ready to start live streaming go ahead and start live streaming and also these tags that says pubg and all of this stuff go ahead and delete that because um that is not what you are playing that is not the game you are playing so go ahead and only advertise the game you are playing and that's fine um the video is going to take time if i spend all my time deleting all of this stuff so just click on next to um to display the next page and this particular area is also very important if you are live streaming from a device that doesn't have a very high internet you can go ahead and set this to one um 
um, 480 which is also very nice if you set this it's going to consume a lot of your internet but it's actually going to make the quality of your video very high but if you have a low internet just just go ahead and use this and which is also not very bad so um depending on the device you are live streaming on i'm going to turn this on to portrait if you are live streaming a game that displays on a um a on a landscape mode choose landscape but i'm going to choose portrait for this so um the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and tap on this facebook to enable facebook and if this is the first time you are live streaming on facebook you have to go ahead and log in your account to facebook and choose the particular page that you want to um live stream on so i just choose game path you can go ahead and choose anyone right there i'm only going to live stream on game path so i'm going to go over to next and you notice it displays um i'm going to receive emails but actually i do not want to receive emails so i'm going to disable that and it says create and manage content on game path <sighs> read content posted on game path not bad show list of pages you manage on game part i don't think this this is um most of all this information i do not want to display them to tonight but i think reading the content i post that's fine because i'm live streaming and also showing the list of page i manage okay i'm going to leave that because it's compulsory but um to create and manage content okay yes that is okay because i'm creating a live streaming um so i'm going to leave this three uh but uh receiving emails i just turned that off so go ahead and click on done to confirm that you want to live stream the video on your page so um right now i think i just went live because i just received a notification on the other device so i'm going to click on okay but the funny thing is that guys we actually have not okay um one information guys it says um Tony would like to post content to your life um to your timeline on your behalf so i actually want to leave this on public not friends only so leave it on public so that the public will be able to watch the game you are live streaming so i'm going to say okay um wait for it to load all right that has loaded and probably is going to start live streaming once we are okay so i'm going to choose this particular game part which is um the channel we want to live stream and you notice it says the review that's fine so i'm going to say um allow allow but actually i'm not going to be making use of what i choose i didn't choose um i chose okay um fine is in horizontal but why is it displaying why is it displaying vertical and i think some settings actually changed and also instead of portrait is displaying landscape let me try to preview again this is actually not the way it's supposed to be reviewing um let me see okay no not really not really okay but let's just start live streaming anyway um allow permission start live streaming okay it's loading right there all right it has loaded up and automatically open um the option for it have automatically opened the option for subway so the game is open i can close it live on my facebook page i'm going to go ahead and refresh my internet is a bit slow it hasn't displayed yet but it's going to actually come up because we are currently live it's not displaying yet let's just tap on that play button guys to start the recording if you do not tap that play button the recording will not start so guys as soon as i tapped the play button it started recording and i also went to the facebook page and confirmed that it actually live streaming but for some reason um even though it's live streaming i'm not able to make um take control of my device and you can notice it looks frozen but it actually not frozen when i was working on it it actually the application that made the screen to be frozen for the recording app that i'm making use of so it actually disabled me from viewing the screen but when 
I was doing the recording, I was able to see the screen. I was seeing the screen. I was seeing the game playing. And I went to the Facebook page to check. And it was playing and everything is working perfectly fine. So if it's also going that way, um, if you are doing this from your end, it's going to be working perfectly fine. Just ignore the fact that my screen is actually frozen. It's actually being recorded. So to stop the live streaming, all you need to do is to tap on the same button. Once you tap on that same button, it's going to display a different menu for you. And you are going to see an icon that shows a stop icon for a video okay, plane. Just click on the stop icon for the video plane. It's actually in red or probably in pink format. So tap on it to stop the recording and there you go. If you like this video, smash like and... Um, subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.